Hello, Mr. Wendell here. We're going to be doing uh, the second lab in Chapter 7, uh, in which we're going to be looking at uh, a projectile being shot out of our marble launcher here. The photogate screws on the front of the marble launcher, just like that. It's going to be flush against the piece of wood so that the muzzle of the marble launcher is right next to where the photogate is. Single photogate, one cord. Uh, you're going over to the data collector and we're going to be taking some uh, information about the marble being shot out of the marble launcher. To use the marble launcher, uh, you want to make sure that you're careful not to aim this at somebody or shoot marbles at anybody. Uh, you should be wearing some eye protection. Uh, the marbles do come out of the marble launcher relatively quickly. Uh, there's a bolt and the bolt has several settings. You can move it back and turn it up. When you're ready, you can move the marble launcher bolt almost out to the edge and then very gently and it'll shoot forward. You're going to be placing the marble inside the muzzle of the marble launcher just like that and it should stay there for you. The information that we're going to be getting is going to be including the time and we have different barrel settings. The barrel settings refer to the position of the bolt on the marble launcher. Two refers to the second opening in the marble launcher there. And as you move up to three and four, the uh, power of the marble launcher increases because you're depressing the spring inside more each time. You can see part three to take a look at how to do the calculations for speed and for the kinetic energy and potential energy of the marble. Uh, you're going to be using this information to then predict the maximum height of the marble uh, when you shoot it straight up in the air. The next thing we're going to do with the lab is adjust the marble launcher so that we can shoot the marble straight up in the air. There's a thumb screw on the uh, left hand side of the marble launcher and you're going to unscrew that and then you can change the angle. We're going to change the angle to 90 degrees when we shoot the marble straight up. When we launch the marbles straight up in the air, you're going to have a meter stick behind the marble launcher. Uh, you're going to place the marble in the muzzle and you're going to then push the bolt out very slowly and it will shoot the marble straight up in the air. Uh, there's a couple methods for figuring out how high the marble went. Uh, first is you can just eyeball it. When the marble gets shot up in the air, have someone in your group uh, look at the height of the marble against the meter stick. A second, better way to do it is if you have your phone with a slow motion camera. Uh, there's also an app online called Huddle, which you could download. Uh, that allows you to slow down your, uh, your video. And when you launch using slow motion, you can view the video, look at where the marble is as compared to the meter stick and see how high your marble went with a little bit more accuracy. So for this lab, uh, what we're going to be doing again is launching the marble horizontally, figuring out the speed of the marble, then we're going to be calculating kinetic and potential energy to be able to predict the height of the marble when it's shot straight up in the air. The purpose of this lab really is to uh, take a look at the conservation of energy.